everyone, welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and welcome to the spring edition of Farmhouse Home Tour Series. I absolutely love sharing this home tour series with you all in hopes that it can give you guys inspiration for DIY projects, maybe to get some thrifty finds in your home or maybe even just some styling ideas. I hope this video series can inspire you all to create a home that you love for you and your family. A big thank you to Crates and Palette for sponsoring the Farmhouse Home Tour series. Crates and Palette's forged steel brackets are a super, super easy DIY project that can add with a simple piece of wood a beautiful, beautiful farmhouse look. I'm going to link in the card section right above here our install process of how we accomplished this look into our home, as well as put a link down in the description box below where you guys can check out Crates and Palette's brackets on Home Depot's website. Big thank you to Crates and Palette. They're actually going to be hosting a giveaway here. So make sure you watch all 13 home tours the whole month of April and comment on each of them, your favorite part of the home tour. That will be your ticket in to win two Crates and Palette crates, as well as four of the Crates and Palette brackets so you guys can make farmhouse shelves in your own home too. Today I am so excited to be visiting my good friend Dana's home from 1923 Farm Cottage. She lives in a farmhouse where she incorporates a lot of antique pieces but also mixes it with everyday home decor which I really really love. She has such a great knack for decorating and you guys are going to get lots of inspiration from her. So let's go ahead and welcome Dana. I have her account listed down below so you guys can check her out and give her a follow. Let's go to her Dana's home today and get some inspiration. Hi y'all. Welcome to my 1923 farm cottage um, spring tour. I wanted to thank Holly over at Living at Country Channel for inviting me to join. Before I start, I want to let everybody know that our house is approximately 1,600 square foot of authentic farmhouse. When we bought the home three years ago, we had planned on gutting it and doing some upgrades. But unfortunately, my husband has stage four lung cancer, surviving, and with disability, him not working, many things were put on hold. So the things that you'll see in here are either thrifted, found, or made by me. This is my, I call it a baker's cupboard. We had found two leaded glass windows in the barn. And this is where I prefer to do all my baking and keep all my, my cooking essentials. A little bit here and there. I also am a big cook. So instead of keeping our baking supplies in a cabinet, I keep them on a rolling cart so I can roll them straight to my stove or oven or sink wherever I need. Um, during this tour, you will see uh, lots and lots of kitties. The reason for that is that our local shelters are now closed and they needed homes uh, for the animals, uh, fosters if you will, until the coronavirus is over. So we had taken three pregnant kitties and five other kitties into our home. Please note, two of them had kittens, five each. One is due soon. This right here is from a Montessori school and we use it as a wine rack. As you can tell, there's really no wine in it. We don't drink alcohol. I try to collect a couple little antiques here and there, knickknacks, but with this virus going on, unlike my Christmas tour, there's no pomp and circumstance here. What you see is what you get. We are a working horse farm with chickens and whatnot. We consider ourselves dirt farmers. Don't laugh, you know it's true. Uh, and this is how we live. The floor is swept and washed a million times a day and the, usually a chicken or something sitting in the kitchen sink. Our backsplash, because again, I'm thrifty, is from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a dollar roll contact paper. 
and it took about six rolls to do this kitchen. It is a long kitchen, it's 30, 34 feet. But it served its purpose, it's up, been up there for about a year. The curtains that you'll see in my kitchen, I made myself out of Waverly fabric that I purchased from Walmart. Uh, it's really cheap, so each curtain cost about $5. Again, nothing major exciting here, um, except my hut. This is was my grandmother's. She gave it to my mom. Uh, my mom gave it to my aunt. I wanted nothing to do with it until recently when it was offered to me, and I couldn't pass it up. I love it, I'm glad it's an addition to our kitchen. As we walk through, you'll notice that the doors in our house are all original doors from 1923. Uh, solid wood, and they're probably one of my favorite parts of the home. Although I'm sure they can need, use a really good wipe down due to the fact that we have a 19 year old that comes and goes on an hourly basis. Now I'm gonna take you into our, used to be our butler's pantry. Um, it's huge, but I made it into an office for my husband. Come on in, join me. This is our office. It used to be, it used to be the pantry, the butler's pantry. There used to be a sink basin that used to sit here years ago. Now it holds a vintage settee from 1947 that'll be going into our coffee shop eventually. Uh, we weren't able to open it um, and the time frame that we want to do the fact that the coronavirus had stopped us from getting our owner occupancy. So we'll have to wait. My spices are still on the wall though. This is my husband's office. His favorite place to hang out. Do his bills, do whatnot. Some of our vintage books, knickknacks that we've collected over the years. Every little piece and item in here holds a memory. Like I said before, we're not very fancy here. Our home is totally, totally lived in. goes into our dining room. We'll get there in a moment. I picked this pretty little stained glass window piece up at a thrift store for a dollar. And those who know me know I have a thing for oil paintings, so you'll see them throughout the house. Again, each piece in here holds a memory, means something special. I have to show you. These, do you call them hooker shoes? Dance shoes? I found them in a thrift store 20 years ago. And I had planned on painting them as an art installation. I never did. And no, they don't fit due to the fact that they're a size six. But they're definitely super cool. The old desk originally came with the house when we purchased it. it has writing underneath it, but it's so faded I couldn't tell you what what year it was or who made it. Now come on into our dining room. Okay, so this is our dining room. As I explained before, our house is kind of small and definitely lived in. Um, I always want to tell people, nothing to see here. These chairs, junk under there. Crap. <laughs> These chairs I purchased at a thrift store for $3 each. They're all handmade and they're from the 20s. They're kind of cool looking. 
I have both of them on either side of this old sideboard. Um, I collect, of course, hairbrushes. And those who know me know how much I adore old oil paintings. This is my grandfather. And my mom. A lot of the paintings that you see in this room, uh, I did myself. Uh, except the one in the corner there. But when you're on a budget, you sort of got to do what you got to do for artwork. It's my cow, Frank. And my sheep, Lila. We have several antiques, but I got to be honest, most are put away. Um, we picked up this French, French set tea for about $80 at a thrift store and I've seen them online for anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 so it's actually one of my prized possessions. I, hi Peanut! I decided at Christmas time to paint the living room floor. I had planned on painting all the floors but I don't like it. I never finished it and the cats walk through it. So as soon as we get a chance, we'll be sanding it all off again. This is our living room. Like I said, I have a thing for um, vintage oil paintings. And I try to collect most of them either through thrift stores, um, Facebook marketplaces, things like that. I don't think it's a major gallery wall, but we like it and we're comfortable. I picked up, that's my son's hallway, ignore it. <gasps> Look, Harry Potter. I'm a geek. This painting here is by an artist called Beltowski. Uh, it was done in 1974 while he was still in art school. Some of his paintings now go for about $45,000 and he lives in the Twin Cities. And it's, maybe it's not super attractive, but it's kind of cool. I also have a thing for horse art, especially hunt club art. So you'll see pieces of that around here and there. And my grandparents. Again, curtains and whatnot are usually handmade. I usually use a coffee bean cover for our ottoman due to the fact that we have dogs and cats. And this way when it gets dirty, I just have to throw it away and not wash it. Uh, I love thrifting. Like I said, we're not, our home is lived in. Uh, please don't expect pomp and circumstance. We're happy here. Uh, we enjoy everything that we have. My art books, a dog losing fur. But our home is lived in. Uh, so if you're expecting something exciting and completely out of better homes and gardens or Hobby Lobby, you've come to the wrong place. Here, I decorate for us. I decorate to make us happy and I have to be honest really not for anybody else so I do hope you enjoyed this tour I know it was short and brief I don't have really much to show you but I wanted you to see our home I wanted you to see how we lived and know that we're thankful for everything that we have so I, I appreciate you guys joining. I hope you stay happy. I hope you stay healthy. And I wish you a lovely summer. And hopefully soon the virus will pass and we'll all be back to our normal lives. Sending prayers. 
Have a good one. Thank you all so much for watching the spring edition of the Farmhouse Home Tour series. I hope you guys got lots and lots of new ideas and inspiration for your home. Big thank you to all the ladies that have shared their beautiful homes and a big thank you to Crates and Palette for sponsoring this video series. If you guys want to achieve a DIY farmhouse look in your home, I have linked down below their Crates and Palette brackets so you guys can get a beautiful shelf on a budget and an easy DIY. I'll see you guys later on Living in Country. Bye!